Welcome to Crepe Myrtle Row. My name is Lisa. Today's project is taking these bifold doors that were from our closet and painting them to look like nutcrackers to put on my porch. My daughter-in-law is going to do one as well. And um, I just took and sanded down some areas, filled in some putty holes where um, the door handle was, and then we're going to just prime them with um, some Rust-Oleum paint here. This um, chalk paint here is just something I had on hand. I was going to spray paint them, but we've had rain for two days, so I haven't been able to do that. So I'm just going to hand paint them to get them primed because of the fact that they're stained. Now, the way I'm going to lay it out is this is going to be the feet area. This will be about the legs. There will be the belt. And then this area I will use for the body and the face and then that for the hat area up there. So let's just get started. Okay, I have them both primed and it's not a complete coverage which i don't think it needs to be because you know we're basically going to be painting over it with other colors anyhow i just knew with these doors being stained that if i didn't put something down as a base it would probably take so many more coats of the colored paint to cover them so that's what i'm doing here if you have doors that are already painted white or something i don't think you would necessarily need to do this step unless your doors were like a dark color paint, then you might want to paint over with, with some white primer color. But that's what we got going here. This has to dry at least two hours. So I wanted to hit, go ahead and get this step taken care of before my daughter-in-law comes. And um, then we'll go from there at laying out the, the design that we want to do. Now that we have it painted, or I have this painted, I've just got like a variety of different craft paints out. Um, I picked up these little things to maybe put on the top of the hat, you know, maybe if we want to. I picked up these um, little tacks. I thought like where the bootstraps go across, might wanna do that instead of just paint, just to give it a little something extra or on the coat buttons. I'm gonna try to use maybe use the paint markers like this. Um, instead of having to paint some of the detail, I've got some gold and silver, and I have some black ones too. You know, just might help to do some of the little fine detail instead of using a paintbrush. And I also have, if we don't want to paint the eyes, I have these big googly eyes, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna want those. And I did pick up some gold rub and buff to maybe put over these once we're done. And then I just found this variety pack. I thought this would be great sizes to do because most of this work is gonna be more blocked out. And then I went on to Canva <clears throat> and um, looked up Nutcracker faces and just printed out a few different, and you know, you can size them out however you need um, to do. <coughs> and, um, and then Pinterest, y'all. My Alexa is trying to talk to me. Um, and then I'm thinking I'm going to go with something similar maybe on this. You know, it's just very blocked out designs. But you can go on Pinterest and look for, you know, different nutcracker that you like. And then just kind of get some inspiration from those. And then wing it. You're also, on if you, you know, you don't like drawing or you don't have Canva or something, there's many stores on Etsy that, sell just printables i mean you know for less than two or three dollars you can buy you know a whole set of printables that's maybe 15 20 different faces on them and then they'll send you a downloadable file and you can print them out like you want and i i'm assuming you could size them i don't know i haven't bought theirs but i just used canva to do that and then the other thing if i didn't have that as i've got all these templates you know, like I could do the mustache, use these templates um, to draw it. If y'all didn't know, I used to be in engineering. <laughs> and this, these, these tools were back from my school days before the computers, and we actually had to hand draw stuff out. Um, but then, thank goodness for CAD. And we <laughs> and the, the 25 years that I spent in that career was using a computer, mostly. But anyhow, I have those tools available. Um, if I wanted, didn't want to use this and I just wanted to hand draw stuff. But we were gonna, gonna get started here in just a little bit and I will 
keep you updated on the process. Okay, my daughter-in-law's here. We're going to start. There she is. Her name is <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> and this is what she is thinking about doing hers to look like. And then I am thinking about making mine more this shape. So our next process is we're just going to take and block off the sections and get the base colors painted. You know, the very last thing we'll be going back and putting our faces on and all the details, but that's what we're gonna do next. You excited? Yay, I'm excited. <laughs> now we are starting to just lay out our design, blocking off the areas as you can see I'm doing. Hers is a little more difficult. She has a lot of circles in her um, design, so she's using that circle template to start drawing off some of those areas. Now that we've got a lot of, or at least I have on mine, a lot of the color blocked in, she's still working. Hers is a lot of red, so it's taking her a while. I am laying out the face using some carbon tracing paper under that printable that I showed earlier, and then just tracing it onto the, the face so that I can take my paint pens and fill it in afterwards. This was my first time actually using paint pens on a project like this, and let me tell you, they are a game changer. I wish I would have known about these years ago, or, or I don't even know if they had them years ago, but doing fine detail is so much easier with using a marker like this. You just gotta get it primed. As you can see, I'm sitting here pumping it, trying to get the paint out, but this made it so much easier than trying to do all the little details with a paintbrush. Y'all, at this point, we were both so overdoing this project, we were just ready to get done. There are a lot of imperfections, and, and I just got to a point that I started freehanding stuff. I didn't even worry about how it looked because I knew from the road it was going to look great, and she was too, because it was already like three hours into this us painting, and we were both getting so tired of doing this. We should have picked smaller pieces like shutters to paint this on. But if you've got plenty of patience and plenty of time, these did turn out great. And like I said, there are imperfections. You know, all the painting lines are not perfect and everything, but from the distance, they're on my porch. Hers will be on her porch. Nobody's gonna know the difference and they look great. Thank y'all so much for stopping by and watching this video and so much for the support that y'all have shown me this year. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, then I invite you to do so and stick around. Next year, I hope to have a lot more projects going on and some more thrifting and all the good fun stuff. And if y'all have any suggestions of videos you would like for me to do, leave me a comment below. And I hope y'all have a very blessed and Merry Christmas. Bye.